You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Eddie Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We are all about education here at KFUO. It's true. Well, (laughs) we've had a great educational experience this year, and we hope that our intern this summer has as well. We're going to share her story with you because her internship is coming to a close, and we are so sad. I can't Um, believe it's August already. I know. It's crazy. So that means many students are... Going back to school. Speaking of school, <laughs> thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting the coffee hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us today, Leah Verslois. She has been our summer intern here at KFUO Radio, doing a fantastic job, Leah. Welcome back to the coffee hour. Thank you, Andy. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> and I was so proud of you. You gave a presentation alongside many other interns who had internships here at the International Center in various offices. You, of course, were the only KFUO intern there and gave a wonderful presentation and shared about some of the things that you learned. And I thought, you know what? We need to share this with our listeners as well. So let's start off with the hard question. What was the most challenging about being the KFUO radio summer intern? Well, as I've always been able to listen to radio growing up, I had never been able to actually be in a studio, Mm -hmm. a radio studio. So um, I think just learning how the whole operating board works and all the buttons. (laughs) So many buttons. So many buttons. (laughs) That was pretty hard, but I also had never used Adobe Audition, Mm -hmm. and so that was like a brand new thing for me as well and yeah just pretty much pretty much everything was new so Adobe Audition all right you have to unpack that for the lay listener who doesn't know what Adobe Audition (laughs) is right right so basically it's a program where we can go in and edit audio files and make sure the volumes are right and make sure that the beginning and end music come in and don't override the voices and the audio file and stuff so yeah it's basically just editing a voice track (laughs) so audition and learning the board and the variety of buttons that hopefully you don't like blow something up if you push the wrong one I was terrified of that when I first started I'm sure you were too (laughs) yeah so what what other skills were you able to learn while you were working with us also like just learning how an office setting works because before this I did babysitting and worked Mm -hmm. at a daycare so it's a bit different of a work setting than an office building and I just kind of learned how everything works and having an email and Mm -hmm. your computer for work and stuff so a cubicle yes yes Uh, yes cube life I was very happy to have my first cubicle this summer (laughs) <laughs> so there were many, many technical aspects to this internship that to someone some who might be in another internship in the building might not have experienced. You've got lots of technical experience. <laughs> and you also got, as you pointed out, some experience about working in a, an office, a corporate office building and what that life is like as well. How has this experience shaped your view of the industry that that you're considering pursuing. You're studying media and film, right, at Missouri yeah. State. So how has this experience, and we're just one little Tiny. one little spot, you know, <laughs> one fraction of that industry, but how has this experience shaped your view of that? Well, before this, I it was all kind of like a theoretical thing of like working in a film and, or media industry. And now I got to see how... Like, it would actually be working in a media industry and how if I pressed one wrong thing, then the whole radio station (laughs) could, like, stop playing. Or Yeah, just how, I don't know, like, what am I trying to say? Words are hard. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) I... I just, I learned that this is definitely a possibility for my future and that I, this is the right field for me and that I would love to work in either radio or film or 
like Jordan, he came from film and worked in radio, so maybe I'd do that too. Or yeah, so I just I learned that this is definitely something that I am into, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Now, you mentioned Jordan, who is our media media production specialist, and he did come from film and, and is working now in radio. Have you guys been able to like chat about that industry? Has he been able to give you some wisdom from all of his experience? Yeah, actually, when we went to lunch today, he was telling us about some stuff that he's learned just like being on the job of what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom. Yes. <laughs> We were talking about that tribal knowledge, those things oh, that are yeah. unwritten, <clears throat> that that they're unwritten, but kind of the unwritten rules, I think was the phrase you used. Right. That nobody really like writes down, but you just learn through experience, and sometimes they're challenging experiences. <laughs> they just kind of assume you know the rules. <laughs> but... mm-hmm. 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 We have, I mean, in order to stay functional, we certainly have some rules, but uh, was there anything, <laughs> but I, we're not too rulesy here. We try to keep it. Rules. That's that's a great word, isn't it? Was there anything that was surprising about the the world of radio or broadcasting in your time here? Like, oh, I never expected it to be that way. (laughs) Um... Well, I think this also is kind of like a since COVID thing too, but I Mm. expected a lot more to be like live and stuff, Mm. (laughs) but I'm like, oh, this is cool how you can actually pre-record all this stuff. And I mean, there is the occasional live session and Mm -hmm. things that are actually live every day but some things like voice tracking and or the coffee hour like we're recording in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah you just, you just when was the lunch. last time we were live <laughs> that's right we've been live a few times recently that's true yeah yeah but yeah you're right there in in order to accommodate guest schedules in order to get some guests we just found during the pandemic especially when we were working from home that being able to record especially being able to record online that that certainly improved the ways that we could go about things but it also open up the door to many more guests who might not be available at that 9 a.m. time slot. Well, like today, I only work afternoons. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> yeah, being able to get that, uh, to record those interviews and then schedule them to, to, re- to broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. So what is next for Leah Verslois? You head back to Missouri State this week. So this is really your last week in the studios with us. I know you have one more Sunday with us here at KFUO. So folks will get to hear your your beautiful voice on Sunday morning, waking them up. So heading back to, to school and starting classes soon, right? Yeah, I'm actually moving some stuff into my new apartment this weekend. So oh, that'll wow. be exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm really excited to start taking more classes in my major since I'm going into my sophomore year. So hopefully that'll also give me some more knowledge about the film and media industry Mm -hmm. and see where I'm headed in the future. And yeah, I, it's been just amazing this summer because I can finally see like what a future career could be for me. And I am thinking to next summer, like I could totally do something like this again or there's so many different options mm-hmm. out there for me, and I am so excited to see what those would be. <laughs> yeah, that is very exciting to kind of have that vision now after yeah. high school to get that, to have that real life experience in, in something that you've, you've been interested in. Yeah. It's very exciting. So who would you encourage to do what you've been able to do to intern with us, to have this experience in the radio station, to, to, to be able to do this work during the summer? Well, I think anyone who has like interest in anything remotely related to this can do it because like me coming in here this summer I knew pretty much nothing (laughs) (laughs) and looking at what I've learned over the past two months it's it's amazing like so I think anyone could like do what I did this summer and learn what I did and I, I think anyone would really benefit now with you it too. You're underestimating yourself. You came in with some skills <laughs> that not a lot of people have. You were not afraid of the microphone. Oh. That's true. Maybe not the maybe not everyone could do like the voice tracking or recording of the coffee hour and stuff, but <laughs> 
there, you know, for many people, sitting down in front of a giant microphone like this is rather intimidating. But you just took that on during those music hours and the <laughs> Sunday mornings, ready to announce the music, and just did a fantastic job with that. So, Thank you. And, and you shared with us early on that you enjoy theater. You love being oh, yeah. on the stage. You love being able to to greet an audience the, and 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 be with an audience. So I think that I think it was a great skill that was very valuable to you, and you brought that along with you and put it to great use here. And we're really appreciative of having the opportunity to get to work with you this summer and all the fantastic work you've done. What advice would you give to the next intern? Don't be afraid. Like, coming in, I was intimidated by a lot of things, like <laughs> the, the all the buttons on the board, all the different programs that I had to get familiar with and stuff. But you, it's it's not that intimidating like just give it a couple of days yeah Yeah. like give it a a few weeks a couple of days like you'll you'll get the hang of it and and you'll enjoy it a lot so well leah thank you so much for spending your summer with us and i know our listeners are appreciative of all that you've done especially to help make sunday mornings happen for all the churches providing services for our listeners as well we really appreciate all the work that you've done here at kfuo this summer and and certainly pray god's blessings for you as you return to missouri state and blessings on your future as well thanks for being with us thank you you've been listening to the coffee hour i'm andy bates i'm sarah gulseth Bye.